What's up my Shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I'm going to do a full review and demo on the GHD Platinum Plus Straightener and GHD Curve Curling Iron. I have gotten a few questions from you guys about both of these items and if I like them and if I do how I use them. So if you are interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. These are the GHD Platinum Plus Straightener and the GHD Curve Curling Iron. I believe this is a one and three quarter inch barrel. I will double check that and list it in the description box down below. So I'm going to do a review and a demo of both of these products. This is just freshly washed and blow dried hair. I have done nothing else to it. As you can see underneath, I get little curls and of course baby hairs and frizz so I'm going to show you how I use both of these to style my hair most of the time I like to do more wavy look and in order to achieve that um, I need a straightener and a curling iron so I go through and straighten the hair and then after I go back in and use the curling iron to just give some wavy volume and body to the hair and then I spray it down with some product so I like to go through and section it out. With this straightener, there is no heating setting. In my old straightener, there was. So you really can't determine how hot or cool the straightener is going to get. What, from what I understand about the theory and technology behind the straightener, it has, I believe, six, three on each plate, sensors inside. The Platinum Plus does, not the other ones. And the Platinum Plus does have those sensors inside that adapt depending on your hair, whether it needs it, or I guess if it senses that it's a little bit more unhealthy, then it doesn't get as hot. Is that true or not? I mean, <laughs> one will never know. However, I do know that I don't feel like it overheats and I don't feel like I'm getting any extra breakage. So I'm assuming there's some method to the madness, if you will. I'm assuming that that's making sense to me based on the result that I'm getting from this product. I will say another thing that I love about both of these is they both have the swiveling cord, which is super, super, super helpful when you are doing your hair. And in addition, the fact that the cord is freaking like a mile long. So you can literally plug this in the beginning of your bathroom and be at the end of the bathroom, whether there's people in there or a mess or your outlet's far away and still be able to utilize the straightener. So I love both of those features on both of the products. So I'm just going to go in and straighten out those pieces, like I said, that are not as straight as I want them. And then we'll go back in later and curl them out. Okay, I'm happy with the way that that looks and feels, so I'm going to take my hair down and I'm going to bring down the next section, which I will separate my hair out into three sections. Similar to how I style it in my styling short hair video, which is also on my channel. If you have short hair like me, if you're interested in seeing that, then you are welcome to check that out. So at this point, I'm going to take the straightener and go in with these baby pieces you see right here and just ever so slightly smooth them out as well. And I don't wanna to smooth too much because I don't wanna lose the volume that I have from drying it. So I just try to be very careful with not over straightening it. When I was younger, that was a huge mistake that I consistently made as I just wanted the straightest hair humanly possible. So I straightened and straightened and straightened and straightened. And then it was like my hair look like a wet wrap because there was no volume left in it. So I feel like you have to be a little bit careful with how much you're straightening. So now I will take it the rest of the way down and I'm going to part it where it is that I want it to end, to be at at the end. Because that helps when you have it where you want and you can straighten it and curl it from that point on. So I'm just gonna do a simple down the middle part. And now that I have that where I want it, I'm going to clip this side down and start working from this point over. 
see in the front where I just get these little bends or these little friends that are like half straight and half curly. Those are the worst. And I try to be gentle with them because they are my little fragile friends who have maybe gotten a little bleach drunk. So again, not too detailed, but just smoothing out those over curled pieces, giving it a little bit of smoothness. And when you come to pieces like this, who just, they want to go, oh, okay, excuse me, my friend turned off. Um, I was told that you, when you straighten them, you straighten them down and see how it just made him sit. We want him to sit. We don't want him to stand. So I'll just keep sectioning this out, going through, finding pieces that need a little bit of smoothing, smooth them out. As far as the bottom, I do like it to be straight on the ends. I do like to leave that piece out of the curl. So at um, some points, I just kind of straighten out the bottom as well. I'm gonna take this last layer and just lightly go through and smooth out that part so that we can eliminate as many baby hairs from sticking up as possible. Again, without losing that volume. So I'm happy with that side. We're gonna go back to this side. And the grays, the grays can get super wiry. Sometimes I just want to cut them out, but I refrain. Instead, I color them. <laughs> One way or another, they gotta go. Now that we are where we want to be here, we're going to take our curling iron. So when I'm curling, what I like to do is I usually leave the just a few bottom pieces straight because I don't want it to be too curly. I want it to be more wavy. I'll just take a few sections and just start midway and I'm going to leave the root exposed and I'm going to leave the bottom shaft of the hair exposed as well. Leave it on for just a few seconds and it gives me a nice wave. Sometimes if it feels a little too wavy, I will try and pull it out a little bit as it's cooling. It just gives a nice little wave to the hair. So I'm going to do that in about three sections. Again, if you want a detailed version on how I style short hair, um, that video is on my channel as well. So just a few seconds, and if you find that you've left it on a little bit too long, like this one's got a pretty serious bend in it, you can just lightly go back in with your straightener and go over it. If they're being difficult and they're giving you trouble, just go back in and show them who's boss. See me fix that? And the front, we're gonna do the same. Start in the middle, leave the tail out, and we're always gonna try and keep the barrel straight. This helps the direction of the curl. So we can see here how there's a little bit of texture and wave and then underneath it's still nice and straight. Also, on a side note, if you do have some, some baby friends up here that won't lay down, I have used argon oil to just kind of make them sleep a little bit and that usually does the trick. So see how quick this performs? That's another thing that I like. This curling iron is I don't know what degree it gets, but I literally feel like, what was that, two seconds? I mean, it's not something that you're leaving sit on your hair. I also feel like a good key is taking really small sections, good three quarter to inch sections, because when you take too big a section, it doesn't separate out the wave enough and bring in that volume. But when you have these smaller sections, they kind of lay and layer on top of one another because they're having different shapes and different bends to them. And then it's creating that, that good, 
Okay, now to complete this look, I'm going to use my two favorite friends. This is the Amika Touchable Hairspray and the IGK Volumizing Texture Spray. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the texture spray just to the bottom and then an overall spray to kind of keep it in place with the Amiga Touchable Hairspray. So my final thoughts for these two products is that they are absolutely amazing. I love the weight on them. I love the fact that you can also use this to put a curl in the hair if you wanted to. So if you were trying to save money, you could just go with this and you wouldn't necessarily have to buy both in order to achieve this um, similar look. I love the fact that they have a really long cord that also rotates. I love the fact that they heat up in literally no time at all. I believe 30 seconds is what it says it takes in order for it to heat up. And the, when you turn it on, it makes a beeping noise. And then when it's at its optimum heat level, it also makes another noise. So you're aware right off the bat when it makes that noise that it's on. And then again, you're aware, okay, I can, I can use it. Because when I had my old one, I wasn't aware of when it was at its optimum heat level. So I feel like that's really helpful that you're not unnecessarily putting heat on your hair because it's not even gonna straighten it at its optimum level because it's not at the correct heat setting yet. So I think that's a really great feature that they both have. Obviously they're attractive aesthetically with their black um, gunmetal and darker metal matte black look that they have to them. They do come with heated covering cases and I believe the straightener came with the travel pack as well as the clips. I got both of these sets at um, Sephora. Sephora.com and I believe they sell it at Nordstrom.com as well. I think the size of this barrel is perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. I do find that a little bit bigger of a barrel again will kind of give you that curl that's so big that you're not getting that texture and volume and that's truly what you want when you're styling your hair with a curl in it. You know you want to give it some volume. So I think this size of barrel is perfect for the perfect curl. I think they are both amazing products. I would highly, highly recommend them to anyone who is straightening and curling their hair, especially someone like me who has a lot of color on it. You really have to be conscientious of the products that you're using because you don't want to damage your hair. So I hope that this helps and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and find me on my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, right on time. There he goes again. The rally racer is back. I'd like to know who that is. Like, which neighbor is that? Honestly. Whose car is that loud? Unnecessarily. Of course. I can't see who it is. It's ridiculous. Bam! I really like the way that this color looks. Mmm. And the way these curls just so effortless flow from the hair. Mm. I'm hungry. Mama needs to eat. Alright kids, time to go to sleep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <gasps>